Hey there, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Uh, my name is Dale, and today we're going to be following up doing essentially part two of this uh, ignition cylinder replacement. A few weeks ago, a little while ago, I'll be sure to link that other video up here. I disassembled the uh, steering column, took out the key lock cylinder to replace it because it was jammed. So this is part two. I have a few tips and tricks on reinstalling everything, so let's get to it. So now here we have our new uh, key lock cylinder from a standard brand. I'll be sure to link this in the description below. Got it off of Amazon. It was around $40. And this one is just slightly different than the one that we took out. Still has this little channel on the bottom. That goes on the uh, bottom of the ignition right here. Just slides in on that channel. But then the uh, locking pin is a little bit different. There's a little uh, pin right here that holds this uh, locking mechanism right here. So when you put it into the uh, ignition cylinder hole, uh, this piece right here kind of locks and holds it in place. When you slide it in there, this thing uh, kind of depresses a little bit. So you can kind of push it down there. It's spring loaded so you can get it in there. And then you gotta just make sure you get that uh, lined up with the uh, key cylinder on the inside. And here's our old lock. Uh, very similar where we got this channel on the bottom right here. This uh, raised part that goes on the bottom, but then this little hollowed out part, that's where this uh, locking pin goes. So this old one has just a little different locking style. And here's that locking pin. This all makes sense if you watch my other video where I disassembled this. I guess one key thing I should mention, uh, this little plastic tab that pops out down here, you need to install this with the key out. You can see this uh, little piece of plastic right there. It's in the way, but take the key out. Let's see, let me do this with one hand. So when I take the key out, watch that little piece of plastic on the bottom. Pull the key out. And now it just can pop back in easily. So with that, now we can install it. So you line up the bottom. All right, seems like it's in there pretty tight. Won't move right now because there's no key in it. Let's test it out real quick here. Not super smooth right now, but it definitely goes to start. Hit the release. Comes out. Works okay, might need to Get a little lube on it or something. Might just be too tight right now. And there we go, after working it a dozen times or so, it's getting a little easier. Sometimes new keys can just be kind of rough and difficult to fit. But it seems to work. Okay, now we're just gonna reassemble everything. I'll pull some of that wire through on the bottom so that fits in a little better. Down on your steering column here, you got your uh, wiring for your turn signals. So if I can just feel it, there it is. If I pull on that guy, it kind of just pulls it in a little bit. And then I've got everything all lined up here and I'm gonna put it back in reverse order except for this little locking pin uh, that holds this plate on. This thing's a real uh, bear to get on. You can get a, a steering wheel compressor to uh, kind of push this together. It makes it a lot easier, but I don't know. I guess uh, I take a shortcut and I don't want to run to the auto parts store and borrow that tool. So I have a way of compressing this on my own. So we'll get to that. And here's that uh, little retaining clip we gotta get down over this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy started all the way down there. Then I'm gonna just compress this by hand, which I can do, not while I'm holding the camera though. So I'm gonna depress that guy by hand and then use a flat blade screwdriver to work this guy around and down in. 
using the uh, steering column compressor, I mean, that, that's way easier, but honestly, I can do this just as quick as it takes me to run down to the auto parts store and borrow it and then return it. You know, that's about a half hour of running around. So this I can do in about five minutes. All right, there we go. So like I said, it took me about five minutes, a lot quicker than running to the store and back, borrowing that tool. Um, if you do that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I don't know, I take shortcuts sometimes, save myself a little bit of time. So let's move on to uh, finishing this up. All we have left is the uh, little dust cover here. This guy just snaps on. Simply, simply snaps. Come on. Why's that part not going? Wasn't quite lined up perfect. This little, this little tab right here lines up in there. Get that guy centered. There we go. Now it should snap into place. And our steering wheel. Now I have seen uh, the guts of these steering wheels, uh, or the guts of the steering columns, a little bit different on some of these uh, older YJs, so yours might be slightly different, but not a whole lot. Uh, the overall concept is the same. So this one went pretty smooth. I'm replacing the uh, key lock cylinder. A couple more bolts I gotta tighten up on this steering wheel though. All right, cool. Let's uh, test it one more time. Key in, ignition, start, release. Perfect, so I think we're good to go. So there we go, replacing the uh, key lock cylinder on your uh, Jeep Wrangler. Hope this helped you out. If so, uh, be sure to subscribe. That's what my channel is all about. Help you guys save money uh, doing things yourself. This cost me, what, 40 bucks? Taking it to a locksmith or something would have been a couple of hundred. So be sure to check out my next video right up here. Thanks for watching.